Welcome. I'm Diane Crampton, one of North America's leading authorities on team culture. I help leaders and executives build teams of employees who care as much and who are as committed to the organization's success as the leaders are. One question leaders ask me is how to resolve conflict on teams. And this is one of our in-depth teleconferences that we deliver to our members. But let me give you an overview here. Conflict comes in four stages. The first stage is procedural conflict. And this is conflict over how things are done or how people understand what is expected of them and how to perform. So as a result, they either step on people's toes or they do not deliver what is needed. The best way to resolve procedural conflict is to apologize for the lack of clarity and then present what you need to see happen in the future and to listen to the employee by asking questions so that you can under uncover how their understanding of procedures went off track. It's important at this level of conflict not to blame the employee for the lack of clarity, but instead to look at your procedures and refine them so this type of misunderstanding does not occur in the future. The second level of conflict is goal conflict. This becomes more personal because egos are involved simply because people are trying to be successful and something has happened to, to block their success. The best way to resolve this conflict, again, is to apologize and to empathize with the employee by using really good listening skills to uncover the level of frustration or inconvenience that, they've, uh, that they're experiencing and to acknowledge that. Then you roll it back to procedural conflict, correct your procedures, and then move on. The third level of conflict is relationship conflict. And this is very personal and it gets very nasty. And if not resolved, stews like a cancer on teams. Relationship conflict needs to be resolved through mediation or some sort of agreement among employees so that it does not continue in the future. Otherwise, team members will leave the organization or will leave the team because it gets that nasty. The fourth level of conflict is values conflict, and this is based on closely held beliefs and, and ways of being. Examples of this conflict are politics, conflict over differences in politics or in religion. The best way to resolve this conflict is by agreeing to disagree and setting real clear, concise boundaries around how those sort of disagreements are conducted on teams or within the organization or maybe not at all. Thanks for joining me on Team Tips. If you are interested in assessing your own ability to resolve conflict on teams, we do offer a free survey on our website, corevalues.com. And if you are interested in learning more about when we hold more in-depth teleconferences on this topic, we need to know how to get in touch with you to let you know. The best way to do that is if you would like to enroll in our free newsletter, again, at corevalues.com. Here's to your team's outstanding success.